Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you a SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object, SCP-294. SCP-294, also known as a standard coffee vending machine, is a coffee vending machine that can produce any beverage through keyboard input. Its entry keyboard is corresponding to an English wordy <coughs> keyboard. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid using the keyboard. After doing so, a standard 12-ounce paper drinking cup is placed, and the liquid indicated is poured into the cup. The Foundation has conducted 97 tests, including requests for water, coffee, beer, and soda, non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and motor oil, as well as substances that do not usually exist in liquid state, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass, and each one returned a success. It is also interesting to note that many caustic liquids that would have corroded a normal paper cup seem to have no effect on the cups dispensed by the machine. However, test runs with solid materials such as diamond have failed. This shows that SCP-294 can only deliver substances that can exist in liquid state. It is of note that after approximately 50 uses, the machine would not respond to further requests. After a period of approximately 90 minutes, the machine seemed to have restocked itself. 294 was originally placed in the Foundation's personnel break room because it is almost harmless to human beings and it's also a money-saving venture. However, after the 29401 accident, two guards of Security Clearance Level 3 were arranged to guard 294 at all times. Since then, anyone who wants to get contact with it needs to obtain security permission first. So, what happened during the 29401 incident? The incident happened on August 21, 2005. Agent Joseph attempted to use 294 to obtain coffee during his allotted break time at 9.30 a.m. At the request of another agent to see what it would do, Agent Joseph requested for a cup of joe from 294. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. After moving the unconscious agent to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup dispensed by SCP-294. They found a combination of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids in the liquid. Testing revealed the DNA sequence of the biological material dispensed by SCP-294 matched that of Agent Joseph. Luckily, Agent Joseph made a complete recovery after four weeks of rest and intravenous hydration x-rays and CAT scans showed no further signs of injury, and he was released. After reviewing documentation on 294, the Foundation started testing 294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. To test the range of 294's capacity for retrieval, researchers formulated a unique compound composed of undisclosed ratios of bleach, cola, MET-RX powder, and garum masala. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from 294. When the request for this liquid was made, an equal amount of the liquid that had existed in the sealed container had disappeared without any reason. In another test, it has now been confirmed that 294 has the ability to directly gather information from someone's mind in order to comply with the given conditions. Under observation of Level 4 personnel, an agent keyed in a request of the best drink I've ever had. 294 delivered a dark fluid topped with white foam, which was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cup was printed with a color picture of five men and two women drinking beer on the beach, and the agent who requested for this drink was one of them. In his briefing, he confirmed that his favorite drink ever was a Vienna Lager he consumed at the beach with his friends. According to another test, 294 was proved to be able to produce abstract concepts or sentences and it also can make the subjects feel the experience. Researcher keyed in request for a cup of music. SCP-294 produced a clear, sparkling fluid that tasted vaguely alcoholic. Following ingestion, subject reported feeling and not hearing a continuous rhythm and demonstrated the ability to move and even dance with a certain fluidity that he had not previously shown. In one of the other tests, a professor requested My Life Story from 294. 294 began to shake violently, like a tornado, and made humming noises violently for approximately three minutes, before providing a highly viscous, opaque black liquid. Upon consumption, the professor reported that he remembered everything that had ever happened to him. 
Following this test, the professor entered his office and returned 48 hours later with a 538-page autobiography. According to an addendum, a D-class personnel with IQ of 99 and low curiosity scores was given written instructions about what to request. The D-class personnel produced a request for blood of Canis lupus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as wolf blood. The D-class personnel next produced a request for saliva of Equus ferris caballus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as horse saliva. The D-class personnel next produced a request for urine of Phascolarctus cinereus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as koala urine. The D-class personnel next produced a request for cerebrospinal fluid of Phoboromus pattersoni and received a cup of liquid currently undergoing analysis. It is to be noted that Phoboromus pattersoni went extinct during the late Miocene epoch, approximately 8 million years ago. Other SCP-294 tests are currently awaiting for approval.